Hi Mashable, this is Casper. Welcome to our house. I think it's a very modern American home. This is what I would call it. I, I was in, inspired by Rolf Lauren and his design. So I really wanted to have that chic look in my living space. I like cleanliness. I feel like there's nothing more luxurious than, than a clean home. And if you see, if you notice, uh, you know, everything here is very clean. Right amount of stuff, right amount of furniture, right amount of uh, frames. As I grow in my spirituality, I think I am becoming more and more clear and uh, clean in my thought process as well. So that is what you see in this house. Subtle, cozy, yet very, you know, welcoming. So this, you know, the, the color palette that I've chosen for this is very, very neutral. I love the entire architecture of Roman Rome and you know Paris and European culture basically I love that so I wanted to have a touch of that in my house so that's why you can see these uh, two lamps these are specifically made for me uh, they are hand carved and um, made by an artist in India this wall everybody loves because you know they always ask me how did you place these pictures together it just looks so in harmony with each other it just you know, it's so pretty. And yeah, it took me three months to place them together. So if you can see in the middle, these are my eyes. This idea of putting eyes uh, in the middle was of my husband's. I, we were actually putting in uh, Daniel day Luis's eyes because I love Daniel day Luis, but we just couldn't get the right uh, size of the picture. So he was like, oh, why put Daniel day Luis? This is our home. You should have your eyes. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, you know, all this represents the kind of things that I like in life. I love chandeliers. Clearly, you will see a lot of chandeliers in my house. I love uh, perspectives. So I have different perspectives in my house. I love staircases. I just love them. It just, I just find them so artistic. We have this beautiful balcony. I would love for you to meet my plants because I love plants and I endorse plants and I tell people to grow as many plants as possible. So if you can see, you know, we have this amazing view, which I'll show you. Come on in. You know, we have hydrangeas, we have bougainvilleas, we have some hibiscus. You know, it's in COVID, I specifically realized that how special this place is because we could just look outside and there was so much nature to, to calm us down. That in the time of most uncertain days, I was really at peace. And I would just sit right here with my husband, with my, with my Casper, and we used, to have, we used to enjoy having coffee and seeing the blue skies today, you won't see that because it's rainy. So this is an arch. I always wanted to have an arch in my balcony with a lot of bougainvilleas. As I said and expressed earlier, I'm very, very influenced by European uh, design, you know, their gardening design specifically. So this is my dining area, which is also a part of the living room, but uh, a little segregated. This area has literally taken me one year to complete because when I had finished the house, I still hadn't found the, the chandelier for the space. Um, and I was, I really, really looked hard for one year. And after one year of looking hard, I finally found this. One of my most favorite chandelier in this house. It just completes the space so beautifully. As I said, I'm very spiritual and I love all perspectives. So you'll see a lot of skulls. You'll see a lot of, with all this clean, I'll, I, I have another, uh, you know, um, office come den, uh, which is very, very different than this. So you, I'll, there you'll see a lot of gods. I see it as, 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 as an extension of me, as all parts of me are not all light. There are some dark parts, there are some shadows, there's some goths, there's some clean. Uh, you know, so it's, it's all a mixture of that. This, this one is a very famous uh, picture. This was shot for Dior, the Dior campaign. So the lady is wearing a uh, Dior and they had these elephants and the way the elephants are going, you know, this was like the picture perfect shot. So I also love this. I love these frames again. There are a lot of frames in my house. As you can see, this piece uh, I bought from South Africa. The Kaligiri is so beautiful, the way they made it. There's so much nature, there's so much culture, there's so much history to be experienced, you know. Then I have this family wall. My best friends, my family, everybody is just here. We spend at least five to six months to make this wall, to prepare for, I mean, to choose all these photos because we have thousands and lakhs of photos, I think. To choose from that and then put the best ones on the wall has taken us a long time. So each photo is very, very precious. <laughs> I cannot choose. I personally love this one picture, which is in color. This is on the mountain in Switzerland. 
uh, where we climbed up and uh, Laterburnen. Yeah, this structure somebody made of stones. And I was sitting there and I was just lost in my thoughts and I think James took this picture. <laughs> so when we were making this whole wall to be black and white, I think, I, you know, I was like, this would be a good idea to keep the dress red. So this is uh, our special, special space and this space actually belongs to my husband. People say that I don't give him anything, but hey, this entire space is his. He uses it more than me. Let me, let me call him on the show. James. Yeah, actually I spend all my time in this room. <laughs> he does, he does. This is his office and uh, this, is, this is our uh, theater room, as I said, and a lot of this is his idea. Yeah, so this table actually we imported all the way from Mykonos, Greece. It came by sea and we waited a long time for it. And yeah. nothing, else, nothing else stood in its place until it arrived. And yeah. a lot of things in our house are just like that. The story of this room began from these curtains. When we were designing this, I was like, Yeah, oh, baby, I've seen these curtains, you love them. And, you know, and so we saw it and he also fell in love with these. And I was like, let's call for these. And we found out that these curtains are not available nahi hai. So I said, ma'am, there's only one piece available. Somewhere outskirts of London, uh, in our in our some workshop or some warehouse. something warehouse, yeah. Because okay, na where there's a will, there's a way. I literally found a friend and I told him, please, buy to me. Really, ja ke ye curtains wahan se le kya. It's pure denim. It's pure denim and it's really thick and heavy. So yeah, even that took. Uh, uh, we we went through uh, a lot to get these in the country. Also, if you see this uh, centerpiece uh, chandelier, it's it's so special. It's like a star's exploding, you know. It's got such a spiritual vibe to this. What is it called, baby? In fact, the name of the chandelier is called the Neutron Pendant by Timothy Woolton. Yeah. So I think he must have had the same thing in mind. Probably. So we just love that. I think it just goes so well with this uh, entire room. A Harry Potter from Universal Studios. I think Universal Studios. In yes, Orlando. yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. Yeah. We've got the skulls to remind me not to take life too seriously because it's eventually going to be over. And I have the original um, United States two silver dollar note. He's uh, my musician. Yeah. And he uh, loves to play. We have, uh, I have a lot of musician friends as well. And all friends, actor friends who can also play guitars. So we all have a jamming session here sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, it's super fun. Thank you so much for coming to our house Thank and you. Uh, you know i hope you enjoyed our home tour to come again soon see you Asper. bye bye Somewhere thank you for coming thank you bye